everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 27th, 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. All right, so we are coming to the end of an era, sort of. It's going to take another few months, it feels. Remember, time is not linear outside of this realm uh, for things to finally settle into place. Now that doesn't mean that there's this guarantee of peace. There will constantly be things that are challenging us that are asking us to grow and to move past it and to see ourselves in a different light. Okay. But it does feel like we are finally stepping into our own in a way. We're finally stepping up and understanding how we as individuals need to change, how our energy is contributing to the collective, how is the collective changing? We're adapting, okay? <laughs> and so we are seeing just how well we have come through, all right? Now, does that mean that there could be huge rewards, huge payoffs for some? Yes, uh, but it depends. If you are still working towards something that does not serve you, you know, or you have not learned your lessons, then they will repeat. But let's get some cards here and let's see what kind of energy we are dealing with to begin this new year. It is about harmony and balance and being able to find your harmony and balance, okay? Without blaming others, without um, trying to make excuses or justifications for our behavior, right? We're just, yeah, there's a lot of healing, a lot of healing going on here. So let's see what we have. Should do it about right there. All right, so the first card out here, it's a number five, which is the number of change. It's Divine Guidance Archangel Sandalfin. So 2022, all the twos, that's balance and harmony. Archangel Sandalfin is all about balance and harmony, okay? Balancing your physical self with your spiritual self and being grounded, okay? And Sandalfin is also associated with music and sound healing. So really attuning our frequency and getting in touch with that divine aspect of ourselves. Okay. The search for meaning in life. That's it. That's the deal. That's how we're starting this out. Consider an alternative approach. Can't go on the way that we have. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Again, this is a huge shift and a change. We are moving away from maybe honoring narcissistic people. Maybe we're not allowing people who have no empathy to be in charge of other people. Maybe we are finally stepping up and saying, no, we want someone who is a wise leader, not someone who is conniving and manipulative and Machiavellian and you know all of that. So there is, it feels like divine intervention a little bit here, but we have to take accountability for what we allow. Who do you look up to? Let that be a big test for yourself this week. Pay attention to the stories that you follow. Do you thumbs up videos where someone is just coming out in really excessively expensive clothes and trying to show how great they are because they can afford really expensive stuff? You know what I'm saying? We have to stop <laughs> putting them on a pedestal. So I had three cards all fling out at the same time. I normally wouldn't take them like this, but we will. So we have nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So we're coming into this time still worried about the things that have occurred. Will that continue? What's next? And that's what it is. It has this very like what's next kind of feel. Sorry, my nose decided to start running the second I turned on the camera. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> so again, Knight of Michael, we're in this worried kind of place. Now, if we stay in a fearful space, we're going to keep manifesting, you know, more fearful types of moments. So really what is being called for here is to implement what we have learned. How have we learned to prioritize? What have we learned about ourselves in the past two years? Have you had some major breakthrough? You know, as a society, I hope we are now starting to look at uh, people who have no feeling, they have no empathy towards others. And, you know, looking past people who are trying to look like they care, but they don't really, right? We're getting wiser. And this is really what we're being asked to wake up to now. There is some bit of worry which is unnecessary, it says, 
And then we have two of Raphael. This is interesting. Okay, so two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. That's the thing. So now we're being asked to focus more on our inner peace, soul connections with one another. Again, the number twos <laughs> going all, all through the year, right? So two of Raphael partnering up. That doesn't mean that if you're single, you have to go get a partner, okay? What I'm saying is start honoring the connection one human being to another instead of, you know, competition. It's cooperation. This is the big... This is the big thing we need to understand and what we need to start implementing because look, again, we've got this, what I'm calling divine uh, intervention here. We need to drop the worry around what's happening on the surface and start seeing what really matters. Heart to heart, okay? Soul to soul, heart to heart. Heart to heart, soul to soul. All right, then we have Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. I immediately feel like this would be us uh, implementing our co-creative abilities to help co-create our little microcosm, as I always say. Time to take action. <laughs> Hold on, time to take action about where we don't treat others very well. It's time to take action and to stop, as I just said, stop honoring those who have no empathy. We're going to stop that. I really feel good about that. I really do. I think we're going to be seeing some real shakeups when it comes to people uh, no longer getting away with using others, uh, taking their even sexual energy, you know, with sexual harassment and those kinds of things and abuse. That's going to break open and, and we are here to heal. Okay. We are here to do that. So Again, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. Now that instinctively knowing just what to do speaks to not pushing, okay? Not intellectually saying, okay, I think I know what's wrong with the world. I think this is how the world should be different. Now I'm gonna go out there and scream about it and put other people down. I'm gonna ambush people, right? We've seen this, we've seen people who are so self-righteous go and do their little hot take or they go and ambush someone just to throw them off so that they can look right, okay? We're creating a whole new kind of way now where it's not right or wrong, okay? It's, again, more cooperation and uh, being willing to create something new for ourselves. So this is a new perspective. This is, you know, I don't know that people are going to be so worried about the surface level. It, it could be that kind of thing of, well, if you want this job, then you're gonna have to do this, that, and the other. And someone says, I don't want the job. And they walk away. The games are not going to work anymore. Okay, the games are done, they're over. So let that be a focus as we come into this new year. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Okay, so we have full moon in Scorpio. Transformation, Scorpio's transformation. Breathe through the tension. So as we go through this, there, you know, the more we try to be peaceful, the more we try to be grounded, the more the people who are no longer being fed, they're gonna get really upset and they're gonna go on their smear campaigns. They're gonna try to find something wrong to talk about, you know, whatever. And this is really why a lot of people have just sort of uh, placated them. This is why people have just gone along with whatever they've had to say because they didn't want to make trouble, right? Well, it's time to make some trouble. <laughs> and I don't mean in like this outlandish kind of crazy way. It says breathe through the tension uh, and stay steady. When someone else is trying to drag you into their drama, stay steady. When someone is trying to gossip about you and ruin your reputation, stay steady. When we don't feed them, you know, it's cutting the head off the beast. I mean, there's there's no more way for them to feed. And that is what we need to work on. This is what we need to focus on. All right? Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. You can get an angelic message or an Akashic Records reading. Just make note of the Akashic Records reading if that's what you want. And of course, I have the meditation challenges, a whole library of them, including Metatron, who's all about Akashic Records, over at gumroad.com angelsouls. Please get over there and check it out. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.